Velkommen til Danmark. Welcome to Denmark. In this video we're going to show you all the traditional Danish food that you should try if you visit Denmark. Because that's what we do here on Stoffer. We stuff our mouths all over the world and today it's Denmark. So subscribe right now to our channel for more food from all over the world. famous Danish dish is of course smørbrød and that's what we're starting off this video with. I'm having one of the most iconic smørbrød I think with herring on it. Some horseradish, some gherkins, let's see. And it's of course on that really dark rye bread which gives it that smørbrød vibe because that's what you need. It's an open-faced sandwich. There's a lot of herring on it, a thick slice and the dark brown rye bread. You can see the grains in it as well. I'm normally not a herring fan, but I can have it, I think. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. The reddish there, there's some mayo. It is a really like sourness to it, but that goes so well with the herring and the dark rye bread. This is really nice. We had some more smurder bread on this trip, so I will just insert a few of those dishes. Tim had a really amazing vegetarian version. I also had one with beef tartare, which was stunning. And yeah, we'll just include all our smurderbrød in this video. And of course you can get smurderbrød everywhere in Denmark. So just find a nice restaurant or a nice lunch bar. We say this in all of our videos. Whenever you are abroad, you have to visit a bakery because at the bakery they sell the good stuff. And in this video, we will have snippets of stuff that we bought at a bakery here in Denmark. This is the first thing you will have to try here because it's one of the most famous Danish pastries that you can get here and it's a drømmeskege. And uh, it's translated as a dream cake. We already bought a cupcake version in the supermarket on our first night here. So we fell in love with the flavors and we said we have to get the real deal at a bakery. And the flavors? that I had from the cupcake was coconut caramel in a cakey version. This is very dense. The cupcake was very light and airy. So I'm very curious to see how this translates into the real cake. Mm. Mm. It's very sugary, very caramelly. The coconut here is much more evident than the one in the cupcake, I have to say. It is very dense, which means that you only need a small piece to fill yourself up, I think. I have to be <laughs> careful. It's quite thick. But it's, it's really nice. It is a really thick and hard cake. I have to say, I also love the airiness of the cupcake version of a Drommeskage. So I think you could go either way and you will fall in love with the flavors of this because the flavor combination the caramel and the coconut with a little bit of chocolate there mm. Mm. really good i have another amazing danish pastry the kanilsnegel which means cinnamon snail it looks better than it sounds oh but it's really sticky it sticks to the plate and it's i cannot even pick it up i can only pick up pieces there's a lot of stuff on there. It's really sticky. Mm. Oh, really nice and moist. Really nice cinnamon flavor. I think I love anything cinnamon related. Definitely try the Kanil Schnegel in Denmark. I'm having the national dish of Denmark, which is called stegflesk, which is translated as meat and potatoes. So I'm having boiled potatoes 
a lot of meat. It's those bacon, kind of thick bacon slices of pork, crispy pork, and you get it with a parsley sauce. It looks really good. I love this type of meat. It is a lot of meat though, I have to say, for one person. Crazy. I, this could have easily fed two people. Mm. Very crispy, very nice. I like the sauce actually, because it's a, like a cream sauce, but with a bit of parsley in it. And it's, it's just a nice addition to the meat, and it will go very well with the boiled potatoes. But it doesn't have a lot of like intense flavor, so it's really, the meat is the, the star of the dish which I like. This could easily also be like a really nice traditional Dutch dish. This is what we used to eat back home with my parents. Boiled potatoes, a bit of meat and some vegetables. So I like this. Try this because this is the iconic Danish dish that you have to try in a restaurant. So it's very simple but I like that. So something we always do on vacations is going to a local supermarket because you can find the most amazing things there that you don't have in your home country. And of course we were lucky again in the Danish supermarket we went to uh, around here. And it's rye bread snacks. So rye bread is like super typical for Denmark as well. It's always like the basis of the smørrebrød. It's like that super dark uh, thin slice of rye bread which is like super dense with a lot of uh, seeds in there as well and now they have a snack version and this one comes with sour cream and onion flavor and it looks really cool and I know like bread snacks especially from Germany but they are normally not based on rye bread so let's see yeah it's like super dark it looks like really like the rye bread but it's like really thin and like super super crunchy and there's like a white layer on it so that's probably the sour cream and onion seasoning so let me have a try Oh, <laughs> it's m super, super crunchy. It's like so crunchy that I cannot, almost cannot hear myself speak anymore. Mmm, it's really nice. Sour cream flavor is really good. But you can still taste it, it's rye bread, because especially like the aftertaste is quite strong and almost like a little bit bitter because it's so uh, roasted and the bread is so dark. But this is really amazing. I could also probably recommend you to dip it in something like also like sour cream or like a like a cream cheese or something mm, very nice one of the most famous things that you can get in a bakery is wiener brød and they have different types of wiener brød so we have one with cream and chocolate it's like a little bit of puff pastry but we have one this is the most classic one it has cinnamon and sugar it almost looks a little bit like a cinnamon bun this looks really good. Let me just dig in. Mmm. Mmm. It is puff pastry, but a bit more sweeter version. The sugar and the cinnamon is really nice. Oh, I love this. Mmm. I think I might actually prefer this over a cinnamon bun because it is, I don't know, the texture and the flavor of the dough. Mmm. Really nice. Stay tuned because we have more bakery stuff coming up in this video. It's going to be awesome. Epic. Mmm. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's falling apart, but this is my new favorite. Really nice. Sorry guys, the microphone was not working here, but we found something amazing. Soft ice cream with licorice sprinkles, which is like a complete epiphany and a revelation. We've never seen or had it before, but it was amazing to have and it kind of went so well together. You can now see me struggling here because the ice melted so fast. It, it was so fast that I couldn't keep up almost and half of the ice cream landed on the floor, but <laughs> it was still amazing. It was so good that we even bought the sprinkles later in the supermarket to have them at home as well. You might think, what is he doing with a hot dog in his hand? Well, yeah, in Denmark, hot dogs are super popular and they have these hot dog vendors outside in the streets everywhere. What makes a Danish hot dog special? They use different spices in the dog, like nutmeg and everything. So it's a bit sweeter, apparently. And the sausages are supposed to be really good quality. So I'm just gonna bite into it. 
Mm, that is a good sausage. Really nicely spiced, nice crunch on the outside. It has fried onions, raw onions, pickles, mustard sauce, ketchup sauce. This is really nice. Definitely get your hands on a Danish hot dog. So when we prepared for this trip, I also looked up the cheeses that are typically Danish. And this is the absolute most standard Danish cheese you can find, the Danbu. So I'll first try that one. This looks like a square version of like an, I don't know, Emmentaler or something. It smells a bit like, it smells like Gouda cheese or something. Mm. Mm. Oh, the consistency is a little bit like in between like a Gouda and a, like an Emmentaler or something. But it has really strong, rich flavor and it's really creamy as well. It almost melts on your, in your mouth. Mm. I get why this is the most famous and most loved cheese in, in Denmark. So I would, I would buy this a lot. This is really good. But I also found something else which is typically from Fyn, from the island we are on. And this is Fyn, Fynish, I don't know what, what the adverb or the adjective would be, Finnish uh, smoked cheese. And it's in a cup or something, in the pot. So I think it's kind of like a spreadable cheese. Oh. Oh, you can really taste the, I uh, can really smell the, the smokiness of it. Wow. You can also kind of see it. It smells like that. I had that before, I think it's like, like a Polish or Russian kind of smoked cheese as well, which you can like pull in threads. And this smells so familiar, but it's definitely, it's kind of like a spread cheese, I don't know, but a little more crumbly. Mmm, okay. Yeah, the, the smoke flavor is really intense. Mmm, awesome, this is really special, wow. I think you could not buy anything like this, like in the Netherlands or Germany or whatever. And this is really good. Wow, cool. Nice found. So we also found these hard candies from the Danish supermarket and they are like a combination of licorice and fruity flavors. And we've actually had them before, but if you're here in the area, you should definitely try them. Uh, those are more in like in the candy section, but in the licorice section, because we are addicted to licorice, we found those licorice candies with chili and pepper or chili pepper i don't know it says chili and pepper but let's have a go it's a little soft still it's also um more like a salty licorice but also sweet a little so not too extravagant it tastes really nice but i don't taste chili yet oh yeah now it's coming a little yeah. but it's really not too strong in any way Hmm. I could eat this more often. Yeah, definitely. That's really nice. Time for some more bonus tips on traditional snacks to try in Denmark. First off, Brunsvicker cake, which is a brown sugar cake and the caramelized, almost burnt sugar is so amazing in this. Then next up, the Pölsehorn, which is a bread with a hot dog inside. Simple, but tasty. Next, a Rumkugeln which is a rum-filled chocolate, very dense ball. Beware, it's very filling. Then we have Flöderboller, which are those chocolate kisses filled with white, almost meringue foam. You can have them in many countries, but Denmark is known for them as well. Last up, we want to emphasize that you need to go into a supermarket, get your hands on some licorice sprinkles and some licorice ice cream. It is really awesome. Well, that's it for our Denmark food tour video. Thanks for watching. Check out our other Denmark videos for more tips on what to do, where to visit or anything else. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you soon. Bye.